Hello my learners, my name is teacher Jonathan and welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. In our lesson for today, grade 4 mathematics, we will be working with subtraction involving money in shillings and cents. Subtraction involving money in shillings and cents. And before we do this, we can remind ourselves on how we did addition. When we are doing addition, there were two main things that we measured on. Who can remind us what we said? In our groups, Victor, you can remind us, what did we say? We said that should remain in our mind. One shilling is equivalent to a hundred cents. That was very key. Another thing, Tom, you can remind us. We also said alignment of digits. Alignment of digits is very key when you are doing addition. And the last one was regrouping where possible. Regroup where possible. And now I have this question for us. How can do you save money? How can you save money? For more on this, join me in our lesson for today. And to start with, in our pairs, I would like us to observe and identify these number cards. And the number card that we have, the starting one is 25 shillings and 70 cents. 25 shillings and 70 cents. We are subtracting, so we are taking away 11 shillings and 30 cents. 11 shillings and 30 cents. Allow me to write that one. Shillings and cents. The first one is 25 shillings and that 70 cents. Take away 11 shillings and 30 cents. This is the sign of taking away. And alignment, we have said, is very key. And we have said, remember, one shilling is equivalent to 100 cents. Now, when we are subtracting, I've said, learners, remember to start from your right side. So, in our case, we are subtracting from, first we start from the cents. 70 cents take away 30 cents. 70 cents take away 30 cents. And when we take away, when we take away 70 shillings, take away 30 cents, you get what in our groups? Who will tell us, Wangari, what do we have? When we 70 cents take away 30 cents, what do you have in your groups? You have a balance of 40. 40 cents, let us try. 0, take away 0, you remain with 0 here. 7, take away 3, you remain with 4. So, Gary was correct, you remain with 40 cents. We come to the shilling side, the shilling side, 5 shillings, take away 1. Tom, this is yours. 5 shillings, take away 1. What do you have? You have 4. So, we write 4 here. Then, 2 shillings, take away 1 shilling. 2 shillings, Take away one shillings. Victoria, what do you have? We have one. Correct. Your group is correct. One. And that becomes our answer. 25 shillings and 70 cents. Take away 11 shillings and 30 cents. We get 14 shillings and 40 cents. 14 shillings and 40 cents. Let us try another example. Let us try another example. And in the shilling side, we have... 167 shillings and 10 cents we are taking away taking away 44 shillings and 50 cents dear learners dear learners when we are doing our subtraction i'm reminding you again we have said alignment is very key starting from your right side when you're facing, the way I'm facing, you start from your right hand side. So we are starting with the cents. 10 cents take away 50 cents. Let me write this one on this side. 10 cents take away 50 cents. Learners, is this possible in our groups? Is that possible? No, it is not possible. So what shall we do? Who will help us? What shall we do? Yes, Jen, what shall we do? We borrow one shilling from 167 we borrow one shillings from 167 and we regroup it with 10 shillings correct very very correct so 
we borrow P side one shilling. So when we borrow from 167, one shilling will remain with 166. So here now we have 166. So in the case before, we have borrowed one. So we have cancelled seven. Now it becomes six. And now we regroup here one shilling. So when we bring one shilling here, remember this one shilling. One shilling is equivalent to 100 cents. So if we have, to, we have borrowed one shilling, we have, we have borrowed one shilling from 167, we now convert it to cents. So it becomes 100 cents. So that 100 cents now, we add it to 10 cents. So it will be 100 cents plus 10 cents, and we get 110. So now, this 110 cents now can take away 50. Now we take away now 110, take away now 50. And when you take away 50, you remain with, what are you remaining with? What are you remaining with? John, what are you remaining with? You are remaining with 16. So we come to this side, our answer here is 60 is the cents which are remaining. We come back to the shilling side. Now, 166, 166 take away 44 shillings. And we start, six take away four, six take away four. What do you have? You have two. Again, six take away four. We have also two. And now one take away zero, we remain with one. So 167 shillings and 10 cents take away 44 shillings and 50 cents. Our answer becomes 122 shillings and 60 cents. This is how we do it. Remember learners, key things for you to note as you do subtraction. One is alignment. The second one is regrouping. Borrow with the regrouping. If you have to borrow, make sure you regroup whatever that you borrowed the way we have done here. And what will help you to regroup the statement here? One shilling is equivalent to 100 cents. With this in mind, can we try to solve the following task? With this in mind, can we try to, for, to solve the following task? Can we try to solve the following task? Task number one, task number one, task number one. Work out and you are working out is subtraction. Subtraction of shilling and cents. What are you working out? Number one, how many shillings and cents? Number one, we have 43 shillings and 30 cents. Take away. 9 shillings and 80 cents. That is number one. Number two. Number two in our subtraction. Shillings and cents. In our subtraction, we have 390 shillings and 20 cents. Not 20 cents, sorry, 50 cents. 390 shillings and 50 cents. Take away 280 shillings and 70 cents and the last task number three task number three shillings and cents task number three we have 78 shillings and 20 cents take away 19 shillings and 40 cents then us these are the task for us to work out Subtraction, remember alignment, remember borrowing with regrouping, and one shilling is equivalent to 100 cents. You can use either Abacus to help you solve very fast or the place value chart. With this, is the end of our lesson. Remember to do more practice at home on a subtraction of money involving, or subtraction involving money in shillings and in cents. See you in the next lesson.